Welcome. So here we go. What I have in this case is a, an angle negative, four, negative 45 degrees. And what I want to do is determine the smallest positive co-terminal co angles, which means it's going to be the smallest positive angle and negative angle um, that are going to have the exact same initial and terminal sides. So a lot of times um, when we're given an angle between 0 and 2 pi, um, you know, students just always remember that, you know, you just add and subtract, um, or sorry, between 0 and 2 pi. We're talking about degrees now, so it's 360. Um, a lot of people just remember a lot of times just add and subtract 360. Now, it doesn't always work when you have an angle that's larger than one revolution, 360 degrees of an angle. But in this case, it really can be that simple. Um, now we're going, we're taking an angle that's going to be in the negative direction. Remember, we start here, which is our initial side, and we're going to rotate a ray 45 degrees. I know that's 45 degrees because I know if I rotate my ray to this, um, to this y axis, that's going to be 90 degrees. So half of that would be 45 degrees. So I have this angle here which is negative 45 degrees. And what I want to do is, again, determine what is another angle that's going to be start here and end here. Well, if I, go, if I rotate my ray from here to here, I can continue rotating that all the way around a circle to end here. So now you can just see I added a negative, it's still in the negative direction, but I added an angle in the negative direction that went around the circle or went around one revolution. So one revolution of a circle is 360 degrees. And since I'm going in the negative direction, to find the smallest coterminal angle, it would be negative 45 degrees minus 360 degrees. So that is going to be negative 405 degrees. All right. So all I'm doing is I'm just rotating. Now, obviously, I could keep on going. I can keep on, I can keep on um, adding three revolutions in the negative direction, but I just want to find the smallest coterminal angle. Then I need to find one in the positive direction. So let's eliminate this. So if I want to find an angle in the positive direction, remember here is negative. So if I was going to rotate my ray in the positive direction, I need to go this way. right? So I'm going to have to rotate all the way around to here. And that's going to be the smallest angle in the positive direction that's still going to have this initial side and this terminal side. So to find that, all I need to do is take my negative angle, and I just need to add. 360 degrees, one revolution. And that's going to be able to, now that's going to give me what this angle is in the black, which is going to be positive. Steve Joyner, could you see Mr. Weiss in the main office, please? Mr. Joyner, 50. could you see Mr. Weiss in the main office? So therefore, that's going to be 315 degrees. Thanks. No, something doesn't sound right. Add 45. Yeah, that sounds right. No, what's wrong? 360 degrees, 315, add 45. That's right. I don't know. I'm just having a brain fart, I guess. <laughs>